Hey there, sign of Scorpio. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the next 48 hours. This will be your weekend read. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, all of your comments. I appreciate all of you very much and the support that I get for this channel. Um, we're going to start off with the archetype deck. And first, we call in Divine White Light to surround us as we do this reading, surround you as you watch the reading. Calling in our angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power to help us get the messages that are truly for the greater good sign of Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's start with the archetype deck. I think I already said that, but Aletheia, Aletheia. This is a knowing. Aletheia is all about a knowing. Let me look in the book in case there's something I missed or and something I probably need to add to Aletheia. Let's see. Okay, it's it's not just knowing. It's actually the truth. <laughs> Sorry. So it's truth, um, clarity, revelation, and disclosure. So I guess see, knowing what was previously hidden, knowing what was previously hidden, shedding some light on the shadows. Um, let's see. This might this act of truth might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act, or a ritual that honors the unveiling of what's been concealed. Phew, that doesn't relate any better than right now, doesn't it? I'm trying to see when this book was when was this deck created? Hmm, I'll find out. All right, so this is um, requiring you to do an act of truth. Hmm. It is said that the resonance of our voice changes when we speak a falsity. And in this light, practice seeing truth as a vibration. As a vibration. All right. More cards. Let's get some from the energy deck to add to this truth. This new knowing, possibly it could be linked like that, new knowing. Whoa. Scorpio, what do we have? All right, so, ooh, the world. So a new, a new cycle begins, a new cycle begins. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles can be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But if this is you, then this is the new uh, state of being that you're wanting to come to from this world, from the world card. And the thinking man, well, that might be representing authority of some sort. It might be like King of Swords energy, looking for a strategy, really using your brain. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So, so we have this, the starting of something really big with the world, you know, it can actually even be traveling. It can be <clears throat> traveling. Um, it can be an, a birth news announcement of a birth, um, announcement of a new job, a new company, something like that. We're going to clarify with the tarot and we'll get some more information. So the next one though, is the spell casting deck. Whoa. <laughs> All right, yeah, you will get more information for sure from your spirit guides. And beauty. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is known for her um, luxurious spending, spending on things that are really, to her, um, a luxury item. And to most other people, it may be a luxury. I, actually, it might be a common item to her, but to my other people, it would be a luxury item. Um, beauty down here, you know, beauty comes from inside. And when we shine our light from the inside, you know, it doesn't really matter what you look on the outside. You can always sense that beauty inside a person. And the spirit guide, well, the spirit guide's here to help you, assist you with this new turn, this new turn of events. Something has gone full circle. So let's get a card for, for the truth. Truth in the lovers regarding a regarding either a Gemini or regarding a partnership. There's something about this partnership that's gonna take a turn and it's gonna go into a new a new cycle, a new direction. This might be a business partnership too. Don't think that this is just romantic. There's something that's gone full circle, it's about to go into a new cycle. I don't see the tower or anything like that. 
I don't see huge disruption. I just see truth coming out and then a decision being made regarding a partnership to whatever this is talking about, either a relationship or partnership with business. Let's get, and it really might be, it could be both, honestly. It really could. Um, a woman holding a coin. Whoa. We'll take these. All right, so we have, oh, good. We have um, seven of wands, three of cups, and the wheel of fortune. Yay. So the seven of wands, especially with the Aletheia card, I would think that this meant um, standing up for your truth. This is the time to speak out about your truth. And then the three of cups is coming together and celebrating something. There's something that we're cheersing to, something we might be drinking to, um, getting together with friends, with colleagues, um, new people, old people, just making memories. And then the Wheel of Fortune, I think it will probably have to do with, well, a little bit of both, with your pentacles and the people involved. I, I think it's the people involved too. And this Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So, so something lucky is going to happen, something that was faded. Let's get one for the thinking man. The thinking man, yeah, well, he's making a strategy too. Isn't that funny? They both they both look the same. They're both holding something and looking at it because they're making strategies. The two of wands, it might be talking about strategy for another job, a new job. It might be talking about just a strategy in general, how you're going to manifest both the partnership that's good with the um, with the pentacles being involved, with your stability, your money stability. We may be a little bit worried about having a plan or not having a plan yet. We have the eight of swords on the bottom. Let's get one for your spirit guide to see if there's anything specific they want to say. King of swords. King of swords again. So... It could be authority of some kind, can can be authority. It, it can be really just stressing the need to come up with a strategy again because the thinking man is my king of swords. So Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Wow. All right, and then there's beauty in this outcome. Complete beauty in the outcome. Let's get a guardian angel card next and we'll do your tea leaves and we'll wrap this up for you Scorpio something new blossoming something new and fruitful just need to make a woo need to make a decision about a partnership and a strategy and then we have angel of success and it's kind of touching um this wheel of fortune card too I love it I absolutely love this for you. And then I flipped right to Angel of Success. No way. So that is a bit, it's a big message to you. If you receive this card, your angels want to remind you that you are all you need to achieve your goals. And the path to success can be long and sometimes lonely road. But your angels want to let you know that they are right by your side. And remember the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try again. And that's being brought up because maybe this is something you've tried in the past. Maybe it just... So, listen, your angels say they will guide you with the right people into your life. They will give you strength, courage, focus, and determination to keep going. Pay attention to the gentle guiding energy in your times of need. They will give you subtle signs from above in the form of words, songs, visions, and symbols. For those of you already successful, you've received this card to remind you that celebrations are about to begin. Well, there's the celebrations. And your affirmation is, I have the ability to be successful in whatever endeavor I wish to undertake. And I know what that I am all that I need to achieve my goals. Beautiful. Beautiful, Scorpio. Let's get um, oh, some tea leaves. There's a few already. All right, July for somebody that wants a date. I have July as a date for somebody a month. Then we have dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair. 
frying pan, trouble or accusation, maybe strategy you need for the authority, for authorities, if it's that, or you could be called, you know, calling somebody else out on something. So moon changes in your life, mm, changes in your life. They're good changes too. And elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. And I think it's this journey, journey to success. All right. Thank you, Scorpio. I hope you liked your reading. Sending you much love and light and join me for your weekly. Bye.